Hello students I hope you all are doing well Today we going to study chapter number 4 A journey in space A journey by air has always fascinated most people and when it comes to a journey in space you can only visualize how fascinating it could be In this chapter we are going to read about an imaginary journey in space which you would find highly interesting so without wasting much time let's start the chapter Bina was smiling and looking outside with big open eyes in front of her was huge white dark space she could see all the stars and these stars were shining just like fireflies shines in a forest she moved forward to get a better vision bina's spaceship moved ahead without making any noise she pushed a red button and that made the spaceship to move even faster Bina was the first child who has been selected to travel in space. She has filled an online application form on her computer. In this application form, she has mentioned that she loves the sky, stars, and she is not afraid of traveling in the space. After that she has been called to give a number of tests and after qualifying these tests she has been called for an interview She has also given physical fitness test before she was finally selected by the New World Space Research Center in Himalayas Karin is the lady astronaut who is traveling along with Bina. Karin touched Bina and said, "Bina, don't you think it is wonderful? Just look all around you." Bina replied to Karin and said, "Yes, it is really wonderful. I had never thought that I would get the chance to travel in a space one day. I can see the stars, planets, moon and even satellites and I am curious to know that if there is anyone out there who is like us. Karin looked at Bina and said, "We are here to find that out. Let's see." If life exists in any form in a space Karin told Bina that it is her second trip to the space and each trip is more interesting than the previous one she also told Bina that we are lucky that we are not floating inside this spaceship which has been newly designed the spaceships which were used earlier were different the astronauts would float in it and they had to wear space suits now things are different let us cut the cake bina smiled and replied to karin oh yes let's cut the cake the new year is about to begin They heard a loud noise. Something got bumped on the glass window. Bina tried to be brave and said, "What it is?" Karin held Bina's hand and said, "Look, there is a strange creature on the window glass and it seems to be injured." Bina asked Karin to bring the creature inside the spaceship Karin told Bina 
not to do so as it could be dangerous to bring an unknown creature inside the spaceship but Bina was sure of herself she wanted to help that creature as it was in pain soon bina took the creature inside the spaceship and she put antiseptic lotion on its injured arm the green skin of the creature immediately became smooth like velvet the height of the creature was about 3 feet and his eyes were blue and he had two thin arms his legs were thin and short and he did not have any toes bina and karin were surprised to see this creature the creature smiled and pointed towards a shelf on which the cake was kept karin brought the cake and kept it on the table bina said let us cut the cake and celebrate the beginning of the new year bina asked mr alien to be their guest and to join them in the celebration as they cut the cake mr alien held bina's hand and looked at it closely soon he ate all the icing but he left the cake aside as bina and karin both are away from their family so they both are missing their family members bina said i pray to god that he keeps us all safe and sound and she is thinking about what would be happening at her home she told karin that her mother has baked this cake before she left home and she is missing her parents as well as her brother rohan she also told karin that she is carrying the photograph of her family members with herself karin patted bina and said you don't have to worry bina we have a special new year celebration here and we have mr alien as our special guest bina said oh yes this is wonderful they both smiled and held mr alien's hand soon mr alien started knocking at the door of the spaceship karin turned towards bina and said we should let mr alien go out of this spaceship we cannot keep him here bina said yes you are right we should set him free this is where he belongs the alien sat down on a chair car and went on his way to his own world bina and karin both of them smiled and waved at mr alien they said see you next time and bina said god has created such an amazing creatures and she knows that god cares for all of us